So then uh, in 2004, you started wrestling for the Thunder Wrestling Federation. And you were wrestling a guy named Hunter Red. Yeah. Uh, what happened in that situation? We was talking, we was supposed to talk over the match. I told Hunter Red, I was sitting out in the audience and there was a few people there. And I told him, I said, let's talk about what we're gonna do in, in the match. And he was like, I do whatever. And I was like, all right. I'm like, just let's go in the back and talk about it. He was like, no, I don't need to talk about it. I do whatever. He said, whatever you want to do, I do it. So I was like, all right, no problem. So he went in the ring. He got in the ring with me, and we locked up. And he backed me up and started punching me in the face. Well, some people knew that I carried a knife in the ring. Some, a few people knew. And I had it in my pocket that night. And when he started punching me, I grabbed the rope, he was trying to pick me up and dump me. I grabbed the rope and I pulled the knife out and started stabbing him. He went like nine times. On TV, they said, on, on the news they said it was 16, but it was nine. It was only nine. <laughs> uh, okay, and you're actually stabbing him like when the back of the head? I stopped there everywhere. I stuck him everywhere. Okay, and I guess there was only like what, like 30, 40 people in the audience. Yeah, it this wasn't. Was not like it, a big, it, was, it was empty. It was empty. <laughs> but I mean, I remember seeing the the dark side of the ring. Like you see the audience, and people were like holding their hands over their mouths, like just terrified that this was happening. Yeah. Uh, and someone called the police. Yep. The police showed up, guns drawn. Yep. Were you worried at all that you were going to get shot at that point? Here, here you are in what Tennessee? Wait, where, where were you at? It was the in time? Florida. In Florida. Yeah. Okay. Even even worse. <laughs> here you are in Florida. You just stabbed up a white man, and the police show up, not really knowing the situation. Well, how'd you feel at that point? I knew I was going to jail, so I just dropped down to my knees with my hand over my head, and I was just like, "All right, y'all got me. Just whatever, take me to jail." Okay, and I guess one of the cops asked you why you hate white people yeah, so much. Yeah, he did. Okay, well, what'd you answer? I started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then you uh, get charged with a, a couple of felonies, uh, aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, uh, aggravated assault to commit murder. Yeah. So you're actually facing potential potential uh, murder charges. Well, I mean, uh, attempt, attempted murder charges. Um, but the guy you were wrestling actually didn't press charges against you. No, he didn't. Okay. So what, what was the conversation like after you guys talked? He came out of the jail and he was like, new Jack. He said, I asked him, I said, why are you here? He said, I want to talk to you. He said, I'll drop the charges. If you take me on the road with you and train me and we could go around Florida and do the, the Florida circuit. And we can have this match like Hunter Red is after New Jack. And I told him, I said, you got to drop the charges first. He was like, all right, I'll do it. So he went down to, to the courthouse and dropped the charges. And I went to court and they dismissed it and I got out. And I left Florida. I moved from Florida. I left that same day. I left and got the out of there. <laughs> Did you ever come back? Yeah, I went back. Uh, okay. So after that situation, what happened next with your career? I just, I went on, on the indie circuit. Okay. And you continued, you continued to wrestle. You know, there was a, there was an article that came out in 2012 uh, in Bleacher Report. It was uh about a about the extreme reunion in 2012 and it said new jack is scheduled to appear but he shouldn't be allowed to wrestle there or anywhere throughout his career new jack has proved that he is a dangerous sadistic maniac 
Wrestlers should be afraid to step in the ring with New Jack. There have been too many times where his matches have devolved into a legitimate attack. So what? <laughs> I don't give a f So what? But I'll tell you what I did do. You know, Boots, you, you know who Boots Collins is, right? Of course. Okay. Boots made me a video. We did a song together. Who'd y'all come to see? New Jack. And it's on YouTube. You can check it out. And I had asked Paul E, would he change my music to that song? And he wouldn't do it. But he still gave me the rights to the video. And we did it, and it turned out good. So I just want to give him a little plug. <laughs> 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 Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there was a situation, uh, I guess in 2015, uh, where you had an incident. Um, there was a, I guess it's called the American Gangsters incident. Oh, that wasn't you know what I'm talking about. It wasn't nothing. No, it was just, we had a match with these kids and we just f***ed them up. You know what I mean? They wanted to bleed, so I gave them, and they were just like, they they was fine with it. Okay, so in general, like who decides if someone bleeds before a match? Your opponent. Okay, so he says, okay, I want to bleed. Yeah. All right. And and typically, you use a, like a small razor? Yeah, or, 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 or a surgical scaffold. And, and you've been cut how many times in your forehead? Hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah. Okay. And that was something you agreed to do beforehand. Yeah. How many people did you cut? About four. Okay. Four or five. Okay. Was there a point? I mean, because at one point you announced retirement, but then you came back and did and did more matches. Uh, I retired in 2013. And I sat at home for two years, bored. I didn't have to do. I was like, I'm going back to wrestling. So I went back. Okay. Are you still wrestling? No, I had surgery on my ankle. My ankle's been in a, in a, in a brace for like two years. Okay. And that's what caused you to finally retire. Yeah. 